10 mind-blowing websites you'll actually use. And no, I'm not talking about some obvious suggestions like ChatGPT, Reddit or YouTube. So let's begin. First up is cleanpng.com. As the name suggests, it's a simple site where you can browse images and clip art that has a transparent background. This way, you don't have to search through Google to find one with a clean background and find out that it's not transparent. As seen, it's quite easy and simple to use and you get the full resolution too. Now, if you're doing some form of maths or advanced typing, then you'll want to bookmark the Copy Cara website. I'm sure you've got to a point where you're typing a document of some sort but you need to enter some special characters. The Copy Cairo website will give you an easy to use library of different symbols that can be copied and pasted as needed. If you press the I symbol in the top right hand corner, you can get the Unicode for each of the symbols, which might be useful for some of you. What's also cool is just the recipes.com. If you've ever tried to search for a recipe of something to make, then you've probably come across multiple websites with no clear guide filled with a bunch of ads and pop-ups. If you paste the website URL here, this tool will automatically remove all the stuff you don't need to see and leave just the recipe for you. I was surprised how well it works as advertised. What's even better though is whatshouldireadnext.com. This website will give you suggestions of good books to read next based on your previously read books. I mean you could always ask other people or have a look online but you will be directed to similar books. With this, you might be able to find something that's a bit more niche or even a hidden gem. There's even a quote section if you're interested in that. On the topic of hidden gems, fonts.google.com is something you might not have come across. This is a library of a bunch of free fonts that you can download and use. It's quite easy to use too, instead of going through multiple websites and dodging links to find the download font button. There's loads of filters you can play around with. So I'm sure you'll be able to find the right one for your next project in here. Now I know we have streaming services and apps nowadays, but Radio Garden is a cool website where you can listen to various radio channels wherever you are. You don't need an app sign in or even need to download anything in order to make this one work. And it's got a nice globe UI to help you find the location you need. What can also be quite handy is eatthismuch.com. This website is a quick and easy calculator that provides you with recommendations of meals that you can eat to help you stay within a certain calorie range. It's got minimal ads and it can be quite useful if you're trying to stick to a specific type of diet based on your needs. Now if you're working on a creative project of some sort, then check out the Texture Labs website. It provides you with free backgrounds and textures for you to use as you please and you don't even need to credit the source. There's some surprisingly good textures in here and are categorised on the side as needed to help you find just the one. What's also useful is worldchatclock.com. This website is super useful for those who have to schedule meetings with people in different time zones. If you enter the times when you are available in both time zones, it offers a nice interface regarding what's a good time, what's a stretch and what's not suitable. You can add up to 5 cities too so it would definitely be one to bookmark for those in the office with international meetings. Next up is Quillbot.com. This website allows you to paraphrase sentences and offers flexibility over the synonyms used and how much change you would like to see for different parts of the sentence. Yeah, you could probably use ChatGPT for this, but this tool will allow for more granular control on the fly instead of having to send multiple queries. So those are 10 mind-blowing websites all covered. If you have any other ideas or suggestions for things you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments below. Hope you found this video valuable and if you did, please consider subscribing. Anyway, see you later and thanks for watching.